Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today, as promised, I have a full screen Divi menu module tutorial. So I've been looking forward to this for a long time. It took me a little while to create. It's a little complicated, but I'm just gonna give it to you. It's a code snippet that you can add and I'm gonna show you uh, a few other adjustments. But let's jump right into this. This is the only tutorial out there that I know of for creating the full screen menu. And as you know, I always like to try to make it as simple as possible. Um, so let me know what you think. Let's get started. If you're watching this on YouTube, as always, click the link in the description and you'll come to the written blog post. I have a bunch of tutorials in the header series and menu series. You can click on those there. Um, but the first step here is creating a theme builder header. Now this tutorial must be done in the in the theme builder, right? Because it's, it's the only way it's going to work. I know sometimes we like to add a menu other places, but for this tutorial, for making it full screen, it's going to have to be in the header. Uh, that's just how it's going to have to be. So if you're not already familiar with the theme builder, I would have to ask you why, <laughs> why are you not? So I guess I would have to also ask, why would you be looking at this tutorial? Because you could do it by default in the regular menu. Anyway, we kind of missed that when we're using the menu module in the theme builder. So here we go. First thing to do, add your theme builder template. Now you could create a global header, like, you know, it's going to turn this green color. Uh, for me, I was actually working on a specific page and that was right here. So open that up, go to your, the header there template and open it up and add a menu module. Pretty simple, right? Um, so you have a blue section, a green row, and then a menu module. Now, normally I would tell you to add a custom CSS class to the module for doing a tutorial, like the blurb or the blog or whatever. But in this case, um, you have to add it to the blue section. So go up here to this gear icon, open the blue section, go to the advanced tab. CSS ID and classes, open that up. And right here, write PA dash full screen dash menu. Okay. PA full screen menu. All right. That's a custom class that we're going to be referencing uh, this section, right? In the code layer, we're going to be referencing this section, which is containing this module, right? It's a little different, but just have to trust me on this. So um, that way it doesn't affect, you know, other sections or modules on your site or CSS. So that's uh, honestly like that could be it. And then you could paste the snippet. But I want to show you a couple of things I've done um, to adjust the menu design settings. Now, these are optional, but they're kind of recommended, you know. You, yeah, you wouldn't necessarily need them. But here we go. And I have a, a screenshot right here of my modified styles. Let me show you that. If I go into the menu module, click on filter, modified styles, um, I, I made the background transparent. That was one. But then um, I decided to make the active link color green. That means if I'm on a page, like the home page, if I'm viewing the menu from the home page, then the home link will be green. Then the menu text color made it black. And when you hover, I made it green. Okay. Pretty simple, right? This is the menu text, right? We're in the, I'll just show you that. We're in the design tab, menu text, right? Active color, and then the, the menu color, and then the font size. So I wanted a big font. Like you see the full screen menu, right? Um, I wanted to have it a pretty big font on desktop. So I made it 48 and then I made it 36 on tablet and 30 on, on phone. You can adjust that, okay? Up to you. Line height, I decided they were a little too cramped together, so I made it 1.2 EMs. Um, and I think that's it. Let me see. Oh, okay, yeah, one more thing. It also, um, in the icons menu here, this hamburger menu, I made it black. And then you can change the size of it by changing this hamburger menu icon font size. And I could do the same thing here where I could, I could make it the same as my X size and it would probably, you know, keep it kind of consistent. So we could do that. 
save our changes to this template, right? So again, we have our section with the class and then our menu with some adjustments. Let's get out of here, make sure that's saved and everything. All right, so the next step here is to add the actual CSS. So the CSS is kind of doing the bulk of the work here. I mean, we had a few adjustments, but you can see here uh, we have all of this. Now, some of this is optional. We're going to get technical. It will be optional, but I'll tell you what, it makes it look nice. A good chunk of the first half of this is critical to making it. You know, it's, it's essential, um, but I'll show you. So copy that. You can click this and it copies all of the code. Nice little handy thing. Now, CSS can be added a couple places. You could add it right to here. Go to your theme options and go all the way to the bottom just to make sure, you know, paste it right there. Okay. You could also put it in your child theme. Now, let me take a look at some of this. Everything's commented. I'm not going to go over it all. Um, but just be aware that I do have a comment on everything. Um, yeah, like, okay, so one thing we're doing is we're taking the menu from mobile and showing it all the time. So this full screen effect is showing on all devices. We're, we had another tutorial on that where basically we're just putting the hamburger menu on desktop and that's kind of what we're doing. That's kind of part of this tutorial. It's just built in. Um, but a couple of things along with that, when you have the mobile menu, there's some, I guess, annoying styling that comes along with it. Let me undo some of this and I'm going to show you. In fact, never mind. I'm going to show you the menu as it's completed right now. Then I'm going to show you what I was talking about. So if I click here, look at that. I hover over, we get that green. Very clean. It's totally clean, you know, no lines and backgrounds and stuff, right? How beautiful is that? What do you think? Um, if you're impressed, you know, give me a thumbs up, right? Um, what I was saying about some of those optional things at the bottom, I'm just going to remove some and you'll see what I mean. All right, so some of the things here, there's a little tiny border bottom. It's hard to see it, but that's there between below each of these. And then when you hover, it's like that highlighted background. And there's also a 70% opacity that's being applied. And I don't like that. It, it makes the, the color look light and I don't like that. So those are kind of three things right off there. And I, we changing this to an X, um, but I didn't show you that, but just a couple of things. So when I add them back, then we're back to that clean look. I guess you could do whatever, but again, all that's commented in the code here. I'm not going to take the time to go over it. I mean, you can see it. Here's the border bottom. We're removing. We're making the opacity one. Background color transparent again. Uh, we're removing that annoying border top. There's that blue border that they have on the menu. Uh, let's see. The, here's the, the content of that X instead of the hamburger menu. But yeah, the rest of this we need. Um, we're hiding the desktop menu and displaying the mobile menu. And then this is when it's open and this is when it's closed. Um, let's see, this is the actual list items. And then we're bringing everything up above, you know, so when we'll it's overlay, it's full screen. All right. So there you go. I hope that you enjoyed that. I, I, I do. I really enjoy that. Um, it's something I've wanted to create for a long time and make it as simple as possible. So if you appreciate that, give me a thumbs up for sure. Um, you can leave a comment thanking me. There's also a new feature on YouTube and, and you don't have to do this, but it's called Super Thanks. And it's just a tipping feature. You know, you can give $2 or $5 or something like that. Um, it's a new feature built right into YouTube uh, and certain channels are gonna, you're gonna see that, you know, it's a limited rollout, but I was one of them. So it was really cool. Um, in fact, somebody used it the other day and um, I saw it and I was just like, what is this? And then I was like, oh yeah, I, 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 I signed up for that. And it was, it was really neat. It was special. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoy this kind of tutorial. And if you do, you know, be subscribed. Um, that's what we do here on this channel. So we do daily tutorials. I have a whole bunch of plan, uh, a lot of stuff going on right now, been busy, um, but I have a lot planned. So this is what you'll get kind of this kind of stuff. So we'll see you all in our next video.